All right, guys, how you doing? Today I'm gonna teach you how to put your DLSR camera to a GoPro uh, suction cup mount for under twenty dollars. Pretty simple, really easy. All right, we're gonna show you how to do it. Come up, we're gonna show you everything I used, tools. I had to go to Home Depot buy one thing of screws. That's it. All right, let's get to it. Okay, here we go. Here's what you're gonna need first. I got a. See here, right here. This is a Targus stand. You can get these at any Walmart under twenty dollars. It's the old one I had. It was my first one. That thing's worthless. It's only good for spare parts. And here's suction cup mount for a GoPro camera. As you can see, GoPro. Do is I lift this piece on right here and put on this right here. All right, you're gonna use this later. I'm gonna show you what size bolt that is. There it is. Got it at Home Depot, under a dollar. All right, got a screwdriver. And I'm using a handy cam just to show you guys, you know, for example, because I'm using the camera right now to record the video. <laughs> All right, let's do it. First thing you gotta do, you gotta take this whole head of this piece off right here from here. Where it is, you can see it, you can see it. See right in there, there's an Allen head screw. All right, we're gonna get my Allen wrenches. I'm gonna take it out, and then I'll show you after it's done. All right, guys, got that all taken apart. I had to just take this off. As you can see, it's got a threaded sleeve in there, nice flat. It's made out of metal. It's good for a solid surface mount. Took this off. This is three sixteenths Allen head. As you can see, I had to use a three sixteenths. Alrighty, now on to the mount. Okay, one thing I had to do here, I had an extra one of these so I could sacrifice it. What you do is you gotta screw this in through here. Put the head of it on this end where this bevel is. It acts more like a washer. It keeps this part nice and flat, more contact area to the camera, keeps it steadier. And the more you tighten it, the more this will come down and get tight. So that's like a tensioner. That'll be good for it. Alright. Be right back. You'll see that on there. All right, there she is, on there mounted. As you can see, this works pretty good. You see, it's not. You can move it up, down, turn it. That's why I like this so much better than going out and buying a hundred and fifty dollar three cup suction mount. I don't put my DLSR cameras outside on the car anyway. I use a GoPro camera. So if when it's inside the car, it's perfectly fine. It's just going to fall on carpet, if anything. It's so for when you're doing your video vlogs, you know, you're doing car reviews. You can have that more easeability to tune it. A little cheaper DIY. Alright. All I needed was this, this, and a 3 16 Allen wrench. That was pretty much it. Alright. See how it looks with a camera on it. That's pretty much it, guys. That simple. GoPro mount, how cheap is that? Was that 20 something bucks? 20 something bucks for the stand. Well, if, you had, if you're like me, you go to Walmart a lot, you probably had this thing laying around for 10 years. <laughs> I got a new one, so I don't need that one anymore. No good, just throw it away. There you go. Do whatever you want. Mount it up, do whatever you need to do. And you can do this with any camera. I'm just using a handy cam to show you guys because I'm using my DLSR camera to make the video. Other than that, this will pretty much work on any camera as long as it's not too ridiculously big. For a smaller handheld DLSR camera, it's gonna work fine, but if you're going anything above more than two pounds, I wouldn't say, I wouldn't use this. It's gonna have to go get it to something else. All right guys, I'll, at the end of the video, I'll have a picture showing the DLSR camera on it. And that's it. Thanks, guys. Alright, guys, that was it. Hope you liked the DIY video. As always, comment, rate, subscribe. Plus, stick around. Down 200 Towns got a lot of sketch comedy, pranks, all types of stuff. I do a lot of how to tutorials because uh, I'm always thinking of stuff to engineer. <laughs> Alright, guys, thanks. Deuces.